bikes and I'm just out on a little uh, Colorado trip warm up in the central cascades of Oregon. Um, I just came up a couple miles from the trailhead uh, with a lot more snow than I anticipated. Uh, I'll give you a little tour here. I'm gonna try to climb that uh, peak back there. That's the South Sister. Tomorrow, uh, that's a mountain called Broken Top. And um, back there is, uh, back there is our ski mountain, Mount Bachelor. More back there. And uh, yeah, a lot more snow than I thought. Uh, Carol, you know where I am, so I, I'm kind of at the top of all those uh, switchbacks just before you get to the big plateau before South Sister. There's no trail, so it's just kind of going up the, the trail, up the snow. I think I made, I went far too left too far left so I gotta try to scooch my way over to that plateau and then drop down to Moraine Lake where I'm gonna camp tonight um, anyway just kind of hanging around at 8,000 feet gonna hike to 10,000 tomorrow to try to get acclimated and um, tent set up um, it just uh, just got a little thunderstorm I'm not sure how big it's gonna be there's some thunder right there um, anyway good check down to the tent um, I've never seen moraine lake like this totally frozen over so um, it looks like there's maybe some pools I can get some water hope so anyway I think I'll go in the tent and wait out this rain and organize my stuff and ready for tomorrow.
7 a.m. and I left camp, uh, I don't know, half hour ago. Just finished climbing up a kind of a steep snow field and um, there's the mountain there, South Sister. And uh, looks like I got a little bit of dirt to walk on coming up and then uh, I'll have to put the crampons on. I'll, I'll show you the route in a second. Uh, up to uh, near the top and then got a fair bit of rock and then crampons again at the top, but should be okay. Uh, see how it goes. So uh, let me show you around here. The sun rose over a broken top this morning and over here behind this tree is Mount Bachelor. That's where Carol and I ski. terrain. There's this big flat plain now in front of the South Sister and uh, blow this up a little bit. I can show you the route. So I'm going to kind of follow the dirt here until I get up to here. Right here I can come up the rock. There's this little uh, shelf. There's actually a lake behind there. It's the bottom of the Lewis Glacier here. I can get on the rock and kind of come up this C-shaped thing. And right up there there's a little ramp where I'll have to cramp on up and then get to the top. And at the top, hopefully I'll show you today, there's a caldera. It's, this is the newest of the volcanoes in this little range. So, see how it goes. Not easy. This um, trail, you can see right down here. There's a ramp, and that's that's usually there. But then right in here, this dirt, that's really just been blown out for the winter. And man, there are these really deep runnels, and that's like it's dirt with uh, melting snow in there. And right in the middle there, I took a tumble, slid about 30 feet. <laughs> I wasn't worried I was going to stop, but it took a while. <clears throat> anyway, um, made it to that snow there and walked up the snow, and that was good. So um, this is the foot of the Lewis Glacier, so that's the Lewis Glacier head wall. The trail more or less goes on that dirt there um, up to there, and then there's a little ramp that cuts across. Probably have to crap on up on the snow there. Down here is the, I wasn't sure if this is going to be here or not, this uh, little tarn of the uh, Lewis Glacier. The Lewis Glacier is barely a glacier anymore. That head wall used to come, or that bottom wall used to come right up to the little pond and be really steep. Um, and the Clark Glacier is on the other side of this ridge. That's pretty much gone now. It's really, you wouldn't call it a glacier anymore. There's a snow field there now, which looks like a good ski, but... Anywho, uh, that's my backup water. I'm hoping there's there's usually some water, um, some melt pools on the top. So I got about a half a liter left to get this last thousand feet. So I'll be okay with this backup water here. It's a little bit uh, silty, but it will do. So this is the summit. This is the caldera. Uh, there might be some wind on this. Um, yeah, so obviously no melt pools up here, but uh, I uh, filtered about a third of a liter of water that I had from below. Drank that. I'm pretty thirsty. So uh, there is a there's some melt water going down snow, so it's reasonably clean uh, as far as grit goes down below. So I'm going to try to get a couple liters of that in the bag, and um, I'm just going to. You know, tighten up these crampons and um, get my act together here and try to head down very, very carefully. Get some water and uh, get down to the back down there. And uh, I'll 
eat down there. Right now, concentrate, get down. Well, I got off that safely. Uh, <laughs> it was okay coming down post holy, but uh, there's a few people coming up now, so there's a kind of path getting beaten in. But there's a tremendous amount of water in this snow. It's it's running down here. This is where the dirt path starts. Um, I'm gonna leave my crampons on until quite a ways. I'm gonna hope to get some water coming off the snow here. The stuff in the dirt has got a lot of junk in it. That's where I'm at it. So I got some water um, from the water just coming across the snow. Really fast, two liters of clean water. But I just wanted to show you this. This is how much water is melting off this mountain right now. And down below, um, I mean, that's like flash flood stuff down there. It's really pushing a lot of sediment down the mountain. That's how mountains work. Um, so I'm kind of sticking to the snow right now. Uh, I'll leave my crampons on while I'm in this uh, wet dirt. Just to be a little safer. A couple of people coming up there. All right, lunch down at the lake. Okay, well, I still got about a couple thousand feet of descent down the snow fields to get back to camp, but <coughs> the hard part was over. A little bit scary at the top. Um, there's a tremendous amount of water coming off this mountain right now. Um, I'll tell you though, <laughs> with all the scary things, there's nothing more scary in the wilderness, if you ask me, than a hummingbird. <laughs> we sat down here to filter some water and have some lunch and this hummingbird comes by and it's like a giant bee. <laughs> it scared the bejeebers out of me. Uh, anyway, um, good day. And I'm gonna have some lunch here. I got some water filter in there. And uh, I'm gonna try to find a safer way off this uh, than those uh, that <clears throat> sort of run out area. Not totally sure what to do yet. I'll just probably just go down some snow for a while. And um, <clears throat> see if I can stay safe. See you later. <laughs>